Hello and welcome to today's video. I thought it would be nice to dive a bit more into combos. And by that I don't just mean what combos are, but also how to maximize your gold, power and of course ultimately prestige by using combos. This doesn't just mean building your deck, but also tinning your deck or use other means of making sure you get the right cards. So let's get started. So what is a combo? Cards have a play effect, which means the effect a card has when you play that card. Some cards also have additional combo effects. This can be a combo 2 or higher. This means that if you want to get the combo effect, you need to use multiple cards of the same patron in one turn. This includes contract cards, which are played immediately when you buy them from the tavern, and agent cards, even if they were already placed in a previous turn. This means that if you want to unlock the combo effect for the card that I'm showing, we need to play 3 cards from the Lalu deck. When you start a new game, you have 10 cards. 4 cards are the starter cards from the 4 patrons in the game, the other 6 are the basic 1 gold cards from the treasury. Your goal is to get better cards. There are some cards with good initial play effects, but there are more cards out there which can trigger really useful combos. This means that when you are building your deck, you want to make sure you get yourself some useful cards from the same patron. I personally really love the Lalu and Hunting decks for building your deck, but it's of course up to you and to try some different decks. But try not to grab every good card you see. Obviously there are some times where you need to adjust your tactic, but try to not go overboard and end up with too many different cards. There is also another thing that you need to take into account. Making sure that you actually get those cards in your hand. A hand starts with 5 cards and depending on what happens you can use less or more cards in that turn. You start the game with 10 cards total and at the start you're probably just trying to get better cards. But what when you actually have those cards? If you have too many cards you don't have a really good chance of making good combos because you need to get them in your hand for that. A deck that's in this game is Red Eagle and I really started to love this deck for tinning your deck. It has a lot of cards that can destroy your cards. Now that sounds a bit weird at first, but the starter cards just aren't that good. And if you keep them all, they will get in the way of your combo chances. You can also use some of the Sigic or Hunting cards to move cards around between the draw stack and the cooldown pile. Just play around a bit with against an NPC or something and figure out what you like. I really love Red Eagle because it just gets those cards out of the way. And when I'm done with, for example, the Agent card that I'm using right now, I can just sacrifice it to a Lalu Patron and that gives me some extra prestige. So that's not too bad. And while that's nice to know, that's still just theory. So you have to get out there and try it. Try it in NPC matches, uh, try it in uh, the queue, or play some casual matches or even ranked matches. But you can also play against your guildmates or friends. Just invite them for a game. It doesn't always have to be about the rewards. It's also good to just practice these things. And when you are actually practicing and you're not sure if you're doing the right thing in this match, it might be worth checking some of the stacks. You can always hover over your own draw in hand or cooldown stack or click on it to see how many cards of a certain patron you have. But you can also look at your opponent's draw in hand or cooldown stack like this. You can even see their cards if you click on it. It might be just good to see how far you are with building your deck and how well your opponent is doing because you may want to adjust what you're doing depending on that or not. And now about actually using combos in a turn. As I said earlier, all cards from the same patron during the whole turn count towards combos. If you have multiple cards in your hands that will trigger a combo, it's worth checking if there's a combo that you want to trigger first. In this case, I want to use the combo which allows me to grab a card with a value of up to 7, because I saw a card that I want. Then I want to use the other card that can grab a card with a cost of up to 9 and triggers the combo to remove a card from the tavern. 
When you actually use a combo, you will see the combo appear on the left. Here it shows either your recent combos or your opponent's recent combos and the effect that it caused. If you want to see more information, for example a preview of the card that triggered the combo or which combo it was, for example combo 2 or combo 3, you can just hover over it with your mouse. Another nice little trick is looking at your played cards. You can click it or hover over it and it will show you information about the cards you already used this turn. This is useful for if you want to see if you can get to that combo 4 you would like to use. I'm speeding up the last bit of this match for some extra dramatic effect and after that I will put the clip without commentary where I got 44 prestige in one turn with a Lalu and Crow combo. So this is the end of my short lesson. I am putting my discord in the description for if you want to join. Do not forget to practice against NPCs or with your friends. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and have a great day.